much like a chalkboard, it's fun to write on a wall like this, but we nowadays have a lot of digital assets we want to be able to communicate as well. So we have PDFs and videos and websites and, you know, live feeds. So we've all seen um, this particular uh, live uh, data feed. So, um, you know, we need to be able to present people with live data. So we have, uh, you know, all this different content that we can easily, you know, uh, interact with and we can pin it and we can annotate on it. Um, but we can also uh, do things like create a grid. So I can take a grid and pin that and I can take different content and snap that into this grid. I can also present this grid out to my audience so they can see a nice formatted view of objects as I drop them into the grid and we can discuss these different objects. And so it keeps things nice and organized and uh, looking good for our outbound audiences. Um, a lot of times in a big room, you may be, have people in the same room on their laptop. They want to be able to touch the wall without standing up and going over to the wall. They can have a client on their laptop in the room and be collaborating along with everybody else. Uh, same thing, they could be working from home and collaborating with everybody else from their laptop or their desktop that has, you know, a, a decent uh, machine. As you can see, I can control what you see uh, while we're presenting here. So I can sort of focus your attention. I can push stuff to you as, a, as an audience and you're gonna be able to focus on what I want you to see. So whether that's a video or if I want, to, let's say we wanted to look at this, uh, this scanned image of this heart here, um, I could uh, push that to you, trigger it, and then you, I could actually, you can see I already annotated over it once. Um, I can erase that and I could uh, give you, you know, new annotation on what to focus on. So being able to control that all from the wall, I have control of both audiences. So everything that you can do with the wall is very easily reached by just getting to, if you hold your finger down anywhere on the wall, you get this really nice menu. I can access like stored files. So here's a file store of files that are on my network that I can go and then drag right onto my wall. And now I have a PowerPoint. I can pin that, or I mean a PDF. I can pin that PDF and I can flip through it. Um, and likewise, you know, all different types of uh, documents can be stored here. And this could be a network share, or it could just be local files that are stored on this machine that's driving this wall. We have a bunch of different ways we can uh, configure the wall. Um, on your left-hand side and on the bottom of the screen are, you know, a bunch of common used uh, features. So all of my live feeds, like the computer that I'm linked to and like the camera that's, that's streaming me, are all contained in this menu. I've got a little storage menu here for like thumb drives. Somebody sticks a thumb drive in and you want to allow that, then they can just import data right from that thumb drive. It's very, very simple. So uh, you're looking at me on a live feed. I have a camera in the room. It's being ingested by this wall and you can see it's here. There's another little copy of it, which is my live feed of me. And I'm telling the wall to push that live feed out to the webcam of this web conference that we're looking at. Likewise, I could, uh, I could take a different feed. So like this is a, a live feed of a remote computer. And this computer is running um, paint right now. And I can uh, touch through and you know, actually control that computer from here. I can bring up you know, whatever content I want or I'll launch a, a different program. So we have the ability to use this as a master control for you know, different proprietary systems. There's multiple ways of doing presentations. So we have a presentation tool. This is an interesting tool because I can take any asset like this one that I just dragged out of storage I can drag that into this presentation that's already been sort of pre-populated. And uh, these objects become part of like a slideshow. And so now I can take over the wall and I can do a slide presentation uh, and uh, you know quickly incorporate that into just a, a standard kind of slide experience. 
which is nice for organizing so you're not chasing content around the wall um, to interact with it. So you have a wall here and a wall on another campus and you can be interacting in real time with one another. These windows and objects, they're replicated in this Canvas Connect scenario where these two walls or clients are combined. And as I move things around or I annotate, I'm only sending over real light data, just, just the coordinates of what I'm writing. It's basically like I'm touching both walls at the same time. And these can all talk to each other. So, you know, I can have, you know, a small conference room connected to my big conference room, connected to somebody who's on a laptop at home, and they're all collaborating at the same time. So being able to be compatible with everything, you know, being able to drive something that's, that's compelling, being able to myself feel more engaged with the content I'm presenting, you know, these are all things that make uh, you know, this a great fit for today's needs. You know, today's needs, we need to be able to take education and take business communications and translate it into this virtual world we're now in where everybody is in a, a room by themselves and you know, be able to have a good takeaway.